Hello everyone. Welcome back to Tecla channel. In today's class, we are going to discuss about trace route. So trace route is basically a service or tool that track a journey from one computer to other computer. It's a service or tool. Whatever the amount of time it takes is measured in milliseconds. Whatever the amount of time it takes to reach from source to destination is calculated in milliseconds. It's also worked by sending ICMP packet. So it similar to ping, it also works by sending ICMP packets. Now every router who are involved in transferring the packet from source to destination will get these packets. Let's say there are four or five routers from the source to destination. So every router will get these ICMP packets. Next, in the traceroute packet, inside the trace packet, we can see some information like source IP, destination IP, port, number, so the most important in port number to know that it uses a port number range that is 33,434 to 33,534 and now it also has the message echo message. So as we know this traceroute command this trace route service can be used in Mac machine, Mac operating system, Windows operating system, Linux, as well as in some other open source OSs. In Windows, in Windows, the traceroute send ICMP packet rather than default UDP packet. So the traceroute behavior is to send default, its default send UDP packet. But in Windows, it sends ICMP packet. Instead of UDP default packet, it send ICMP packets. Now, there is some more information about traceroute is a very enhanced version of traceroute is MTR. Full form of MTR is MATS traceroute. So this MATS traceroute is an enhanced version of ICMP traceroute that is now being used in Windows and Linux both. So this is all about traceroute. Now let's see how does this traceroute works. But before that, let's see how a traceroute looks like. Here I am tracing an URL that is techcloud.in. Traceroute, trace RT, then the URL, enter. This is my computer gateway. 
now this is my router gateway my first gateway now it is moving toward outside of the my router gateway this is how it is going from one path one source to other source other destination and presenting all the hops which is coming between them now let's move and see how does the trace route works okay so now we have a diagram in the diagram we can see there is a PC and router 1, 2, 3, 4 and then the server. Now let's see this PC is having an IP address 10.1.1.1 and the server IP is 2.2.2.2. Now this PC is trying to trace route. This PC will run a trace route command. What will happen? A eco message will be forwarded from PC to router 1 similar to the from PC to router 1 the router 1 will send same echo packet to router 2 router 2 will do the same thing router 3 to router 4 and then router 4 to the server everyone will send echo message to others Now the server will reply back on echo message that will be called as echo reply. Router 4 will reply back to the router 3. Router 3 will reply back to router 2 and router 2 will reply back to router 1 and router 1 will reply back to PC. Everyone will give a echo reply. Once this echo reply is successful, means our trace route is successful. Some of the time you have seen an error of not an error, a message request timeout. So this message means it could be a secure device who don't want show itself means there could be a secure device who don't want to show themselves on a public network that's why they have restricted trace routes and that's why we are seeing request timeout so this is all about trace route so in this video we learn what is trace route and how does this trace route works if you like the video Please do like, share, subscribe and comment and if you have any doubt, please reply on the comment. Thank you.